Hey everybody, I'm Shannon with American Mining Rights Association. We're going to do a real quick uh, short video for you today and it has to do with classifiers. We had uh, one of our followers send us an email and he asked us, hey, when do you use a classifier? How do you use them and what is this 30, 40, 100, what does that mean? Well, we're going to answer those questions for you today. And um, classifiers work really, really well, especially if you're running a sluice box. Um, or a very, very small high banker or something like that. And basically what it is, is it allows you to take material and you put it in there, you shake it up, and then you can dump off the gravel and you get to keep all your small stuff. The smaller the material you can run through your sluice box, the more gold recovery you're gonna get. Because you take a rock this size, you put that in a sluice box, and what that's going to do is it's going to create an eddy behind this rock and it can even potentially blow out your gold. So running the material the smallest that you can get is the best. And um, the thing about uh, what size classifier to use is you want to determine what's the biggest piece of gold that I'm going to find if I mine this creek or river or whatever it is. So if the biggest piece of gold that you're going to find is this big, then you don't want to classify it down at all. If the biggest piece of gold that you're going to find is something that's that size, just powder, then you want to use something that's relatively small that gets rid of all of the other big rocks. That way you can move more material. The goal here, guys, and the reason why we're fairly successful at doing what we do is because we move large volumes of material. We'll do a two-man operation like this and we'll run one guy is digging, dumping it into this, you fill this bucket up with water and the other guy's washing the material off. Once this gets full, then you can run that through your sluice box. So let's talk about the different sizes here. And um, we, uh, we have a lot of, we have three different types of classifiers here, sizes. And um, you can see through this one, barely. This is a uh, 50 mesh, and it's something that we typically use on our load mining operation because we'll take rocks this big that we blast out of our wall, we'll crush those down through our jaw crusher, and it knocks it down to quarter inch and minus size. Then we send that through the impact mill, and it turns it into powder. And so a 50 mesh, we get gold that'll go through this, we get gold that won't go through this. It'll actually roll our gold up into roll pins. Um, through the impact mill. This is a hundred mesh and what that stands for is that there's a hundred tiny little holes within a one inch, one square inch. So a hundred is obviously a lot finer than a 50 and it's a lot finer than say a 20. So if you're going to be running a 20 on your river or your creek then that tells me that you've got relatively larger gold or larger flakes. The worst thing ever would be to dig all this material, dump it out, and find out you've been dumping out gold. Believe me, I've done that before. So a safe rule of thumb, especially here in California where we get a lot bigger gold, is quarter inch. Um, you know, you can run eighth inch. This is probably about a sixteenth. And um, so, you know, there's people that nest these in NEST, like a bird nest, and that is where you You'll take and you'll stack three of them up together like this, or four, or however many you want, and then classify those down. We don't do that, um, and the reason why is it's just labor intensive. If you want to find out how big the gold that you're getting, run a crap load of volume through your you know, eighth inch or quarter inch through your sluice, and then clean your sluice out. That'll tell you how big your gold is. Um, but we don't really do a whole lot of nesting. Uh, these things are relatively cheap. I know people build them. Um, guys, my time is pretty valuable, and I've built classifiers before, although they were pretty crappy and fall apart after about five or six trips. But these things are only like 20 bucks. Um, you'd be far better off just to purchase one and get online and just go buy one. So anyway, typically what you'll do is you'll put water in here and you'll shake that around, get all that gold off of the rocks and then it allows you to process a lot finer concentrates of material. So anyway, that's your lesson on classifiers. And if you've got any other questions or anything like that, just go to our website at AmericanMiningRights.com, click on Contact Us, 
send us an email. Ask us a question. We're here for you. We'll shoot a video and we'll answer your questions. We'll see you next time.